What's up, everyone? Welcome back. I'm Blake McLean. And I'm Lindsay McHale. So I brought Lindsay in today to do some kind of choreographer breakdown slash she's a professional dancer as well, because I wasn't sure what the videos that were released today were going to consist of. So thought it'd be kind of fun. I'm and here for it with or without choreography. You yeah. know, like I'm a fan. So. Yeah. So we're just going to hang and listen <laughs> or who knows what happens. So that being said, we're going to jump in here in just a second. Sean Mendez when you're gone. Before we get started, though, um, huge announcement. My band, Birds of Paradise, is actually putting out REP next Thursday, April 7th. The pre-save link is down in the description. We worked with Barrett Jones. He produced the Foo Fighters and Nirvana and a little bit of Pearl Jam. Amazing guy. And another YouTuber, Chris Lipe, as well on a lot of the stuff. And we're just really, really, really excited about it. So we'd appreciate it if you did go and pre-save it. At least give it a listen. We've put a lot of time and effort and work into it. Hell so. yeah. You've done a lot of work yeah. with that. I'm finally just... How it feels are you like feeling? all the like weight so is off excited. my shoulders. Oh my God. It's been nonstop. Well, that's exciting. Congratulations. Yeah. So I'm going to be ready for it. Seven. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, that's going to be down in the description. And also the link to Lindsay's YouTube channel is going to be down in the description as well. Go check out her stuff. She's got some amazing content yeah. and, you know, comment on her stuff. Tell her what you want her to do and follow us on Instagram, all that. And um, I'm going to put all my band's social down there too. We'll be post like posting updates all week. We've done like three reactions today, so I'm Hell tripping yeah. over my words. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Sean Mendez, when you're gone. Oh, the best feeling in the world. It's very dramatic already. You never know how good you have it uh -huh. Until you're staring at a picture of the only girl that matters It's a very Ooh. early 2000s like um, guitar riff. What were you oohing about though? I just like what he's saying. See, I can't do that my first time around. You guys know I have the hardest time with lyrics like the first time around. No, but I love that because like I think about that like yeah. because you do music and, and lyrics and production and, and the I, melody and like and I do dance and I've always been a dancer before a musician or before an artist or yeah. a songwriter or anything. So like for me, there's different things that like I listen to first that capture me and then I, I hear the other things as it comes along and I yeah. think it's cool how like it's the opposite for yeah. you. See, this is why I love having her here. This helps. <laughs> it balances me. But like his lyrics were really deep. Like I, I listen back. to like what he's talking about. I gotta hear it. Because sometimes in life like we really don't realize that we have something until it's gone. Yeah. You know what absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. You don't appreciate it in the moment. Until you're staring at a picture of the only girl that matters. Uh -huh. No what we're supposed to do It's hard for me to let go of you So I'm just trying to hold on, hold on I don't want to know what it's like when you're gone I did not expect I that didn't, at all No, that took a different turn for me This is I actually very 80s rock a yeah, little yeah, bit yeah. It's got a little bit of like, um, oh my gosh, what's the band? It'll hit me, it'll hit me I feel like I know what you're talking about. Or like about, Rick but... Springfield even. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's got a little bit of that to it. Like, uh, like starting fire. Da -da 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 a little bit of Billy Joel. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. It's just an old school vibe to it. Yeah. I like it. You're slipping through my fingertips. Yeah. A little bit by a little bit. Ooh, I like it. I didn't know the love of you was the happiest I've ever been. So I'm just trying to hold on. I need to learn how to cope without you. Ooh, I wonder who he's talking about. Yeah. I'm curious I'm too. I've avoided doing <laughs> Sean's songs, you guys have probably noticed, for the past couple months. But I pretty much ended up doing the same thing. Because he pretty much went through the same kind of thing that I did. Which is what? I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> Go, listen, to, listen to the EP and you'll understand. I'm a but, friend, so like I just call it like I see it. Let's yeah. talk about it. Listen to the EP and you'll understand. Because I pretty much did the same thing as him. But, that was a plan. See, I did that for a reason. Oh, I know. Listen to his EP and you will know exactly there what he is going through. April 7th. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, no. yeah. He just jumped right to yep. it. That is one of the best things you can do in like songwriting and production mm -hmm. is just jump up the octave. It's just every single time. Chill factor. Just, yeah. Like when you're gone. I 
write one like this. Dude, I like this yeah, a lot. Like, I love it. So I'm actually going to have to put that on my, my iTunes playlist because, yeah. yeah, I like it. I'm digging it. So I'm just trying to hold time. Starting to feel like you don't need me. Good bridge. Wanna believe yep. it's all for the better. It's getting me. And notice how like the only thing that's in the lows here is the is the kick. And yeah. even then, there's like not very much like in the mids there, mm -mm. I'm pretty sure. And mm -mm. so everything is gonna come back in, it's gonna hit so much harder. Cause that even that guitar, they've taken out all the low frequencies from it. So yeah. it's just very almost tingy up there. So there's a lot of room. So See, there's the bass filling it in. It's like a painting. So I'm just trying to hold on, hold on. Oh. I don't want to know what it's like when you're gone. Hey. Drums, come on. I don't want to. They're coming. Oh, I, want, I, I want like the big like reverse like 80s snare there like this. Like, wait. God. I think it's coming. I think well, it's coming. Well, I just want like one to come in and then everything. So like this, like basically. What it's like when you're gone. I don't want to. Scoom, 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 scoom. Yeah, yeah, like have that like build behind it. Like, that would have been cool. Yeah, I get it. That's him recognizing that his fan base is what's holding him together. Seriously, like, that's what I was going to say. That's like, cool. I really like this video because obviously the lyrics, like, he's talking about something that every single one of us at some point in our life can relate to mm -hmm. is, like, when we feel like that relationship is falling through the cracks. And, like, that moment of, like, shit. Like, now I have to find out what it's like without you. Like, yeah. I, and, I, and I don't know if I want to, but, like, I think that the way he did this video about, like, his life and it was highlighting all the beautiful parts of it, you know, like, being on tour and the fans yeah. being there and him, like, even though he's singing a sad song, it's very kind of, like, upbeat still. Well, it's, like, a feel-good. And then he's also, like... I don't know, just diving into like watching this video, like he's, you see all his happy moments and that he's traveling the world and that the people that are really matter are the ones that are also there supporting him and making him feel good in this moment. Exactly. And, like, I don't know. and you know, it's interesting, you know, to watch this from somebody who, mm -hmm. again, has kind of been through the same thing. I wrote our songs on the stages of grief. Yeah. And for me, like the song for, for me is Stardust. Mm -hmm. For him, I feel like this is his acceptance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you go through all of those stages and like it takes a while and it's different for everyone else or different for every single person. Mm -hmm. But for him, I feel like this is where he kind of found his acceptance spot. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I, I agree cool. with that. And it's weird because sometimes as like artists, like even with choreography, like, you know, we use that as our way to release our emotions as well. So the same way like a songwriter or a musician yeah. lets it out in their instruments or, you know, building a song, we do the same thing with choreography. And I think that like we all have these moments of like fearing to be vulnerable or like mm -hmm. fearing to put our emotions out there. But like I find that when we tend to get out of our own way and actually do it, yep. so many people can relate to it. And yeah. it actually becomes something where people are like, man, I needed to hear this. Like I yeah. needed this. Thank you for that. And yeah. it also helps you like let it yeah. out. And you don't worry about it. Like if, if you write a song and it almost feels like you shouldn't put it out because put it, it out. feels too vulnerable, <laughs> put it out. Put it it's out. the best. Yeah, it's the best it's gonna be. I promise. But I loved it. Great video, yeah. and I'm a fan of Shawn Mendes. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna, you know, put that on my playlist. And Probably I kind of want to like roll the windows down and let my hair just like blow in the wind and, and be feel like, it. Yes, you know. <laughs> Perfect. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for hanging again. Lindsay's um, link is down in the description. Go check that out. And don't forget the seventh. Yeah, click the pre-save link paradise. down there. Please, 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 please support us. So they will. I know I'm like begging at this point. But no, but they will. Yeah. I know it. You, you guys have great stuff, and, and your people have been so great. So cool. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, until next time, we'll catch y'all.